Hey, it's Joseph here. I've got a box here that Asus has sent me and I would like to unbox and showcase this product. And one special benefit of using this thing in my setup. And just to kind of go over the features of this device as well as what's in the box, it is Asus Zen Wi-Fi AX Hybrid and it has AX1800 as well as AV1300. And to be honest, I have no idea what that means. So let's just read it all together. Wi-Fi 6 Powerline Mesh Wi-Fi System. So it is Wi-Fi 6, which is popular for having higher speed than the generations before. And this is my very first router that I'm going to install on my home studio setup for the Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. So I'm quite excited for all of that. And moreover, it says ideal mesh networking solution for thick walls. Okay, if you have thick walls, sounds good. Covers up to 5,500 square feet or 500 meters square. And it is fast, stable Wi-Fi for video conferencing. And it does have two-way free shipping if you need to swap this device for replacement. And this box contains two pack of XP4. So I guess that's the device name. And going around the box, we've got the same name over here, AX Hybrid. And then Asus logo over here and then onto the side. And I understand it is a bit hard for you to read over here since it is kind of reflective. And the interface type says one of gigabit WAN port and then two of gigabit LAN port and then one of USB 3.1 Gen 1. And then it has four different internal antennas and the memory is 256 megabyte flash and 512 megabyte RAM. And then operating frequency is 2.6 gigahertz as well as five gigahertz. So it is sort of the dual band, I guess. And then the Wi-Fi data rates got all of this that I'm going to put up on the screen as well as the Wi-Fi encryptions of the listed here and then the management of all of this. Honestly, I'm not a network data expert. So when it comes to all of this, I have some idea, but not necessarily really well understanding all of this. So I'm just going to try and cover what I actually know. Features. AI mesh okay so mesh networking and it supports IPTV support and then guest network advanced parental control all the good stuff that Asus routers typically provide as well as OS support for Windows Mac OS Linux and then dimensions are such as well as the weight and then the power adapter is included obviously and the package contents is highlighting two of the router XP4 and then RJ45 Ethernet that cable one of them is included and then three prong power cord along with the quick start guide and warranty card we can expect inside of this box and I guess in sort of more plain English it kind of states what it does on the back of the box so here hybrid mesh Wi-Fi with power line so basically what it does when it comes to the language power line adapter or power line networking your network device like this one over here is going to feed the internet through the power line of your home and that way you can actually Actually have hardwired networking from a outlet over here to wherever point that you're pointing to and most of the residential setup it is sort of isolated like that therefore you can expect network speed through your power line therefore the name power line so it is a quite effective way to hardwire your network system because often thick walls and the distances that you need to cover via Wi-Fi can be kind of iffy and you probably have noticed that as they have mentioned if you live in a concrete or brick or steel wall then your Wi-Fi strength is just gonna drop dramatically as you hop over a wall and you've got some security and protection method as well as the Wi-Fi 6 which is something that I'm after and then the intuitive mobile app is mentioned here that you can use your phone to kind of control your devices so in terms of the Wi-Fi you've got AX1800 and in terms of the power line feature you got AV1300 and I guess it covers five rooms and plus as well as 5,500 square feet and then AI mesh Wi-Fi system AI protection for security and it does support Windows 11 
and IPv6 support along with three year warranty. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Having trouble? Call us at, yep, I'm not yet. So here is the two devices that they have mentioned. So let's get this out, both of the devices. And here is white RJ45 connector, as well as the power cord. And because these don't have the power brick, I guess they just connect directly into power, which is nice. You don't have to worry about the power brick. It's all built in to the router itself, I guess. And then warranty notice, quick start guide, and different language. And that is it in terms of box content. So let's go ahead and unwrap this power cable, ethernet or RJ45 cable. Pretty long, I would say it's about six feet. And the power cord is again about six feet. On both of the devices, it looks identical. I guess it is same devices. So I'm just gonna turn it around so you can see both front and back. So just kind of going over the device, the front is quite neat and clean. Just Asus logo along with a button actually. And I guess that kind of lights up letting you know it is on. And on top, it's simple, a little bit of air ventilation for cooling. And on the bottom, there's a rubber grip to make sure it doesn't slide around. And it just states a couple of things, the uh, router IP address, as well as a quick connect QR code if you need that sort of thing later on and the product number. And if you turn it around on the back and you've got the power connector, reset button, and then this is LAN 1, 2, as well as WAN, and then USB type A, 3.0 port. So that is pretty much it. And basically you just get the power cable and then connect this one up like so. And then onto the other one as well to get them both connected. And let's consult the quick start guide a little bit so you can kind of open it up. And then here the front button is WPS or PLC combo button when you're trying to connect the device. There are different type of indication that the light is going to do and let you know what it is doing. And in terms of the setup process, I'm gonna go ahead and download this app on my phone so I can actually control the devices. So just scan the QR code and I'm just going to download that router app. So it says it is Asus router app and I'm just waiting for it to install. And then down here it says AI mesh setup steps. So XP4 works in an AI mesh router by default. I'm just gonna go open that app there. XP4 works as an AI mesh router by default, but you can also add it to an existing AI mesh system as an AI mesh node. So I'm just gonna accept that terms. And as an AI mesh router, which is the way I'm gonna connect here, use a network cable to connect to your modem to the WAN port of XP4. So you wanna use the cable that was included and then basically connect to the WAN port and connect the other end to your modem. So I'm just gonna do that over there. And conveniently, I've got my modem in that panel over there. So I'm just gonna connect both the power and then the ethernet port next to it so that I can connect to it. So I don't know if you can tell, but there is a light that is flashing on the device which is green. So I'm gonna look back to see what green means. Your air mesh router node is switching to another channel caused by the system rebooting or radar signals detected on the current channel. So I guess it is doing something. And actually now it is turned to blue. I don't know if it's clear on the camera, but I can see blue light. And the blue says it is your AI mesh router or node is ready for setup. So let's go ahead and set up. I think. So you've got different modes or ways to set up either wirelessly, then you can just connect with the ethernet or RJ45 cable between onto the WAN port and the LAN port so that the other side is connected to the WAN of the modem. And then you can also do it to the power line connection method where you're just connecting via power port and then connecting via power line of the home. So I guess you can do it in different configuration. And I believe we just need to set up here. So set up a new router and it is a Zen Wi-Fi series. 
and select your router to set up. There it is, showing up already. So I just click on it, I guess. Preparing the connection to your Zen Wi-Fi AX Hybrid. So whilst my app is working out the setup process, I wanted to show you another thing. So I wasn't trying to color code anything, but everything just happened to be white in this case. Actually, it finished, so let's get started. I just need to sign the network name as well as the password. Okay, so it is processing again. So yeah, I've got the VR headset over here, which is a Quest 2, which I recently unboxed. Check that video out if you haven't already. I'll leave the link in the description. Since this one now supports Wi-Fi 6, as well as using that as a wireless solution to connecting to your PC, I really wanted to try out that Air Link via Wi-Fi 6 connection and see how fast that is. Okay, I have now connected through that and I can see that I have connected to Wi-Fi 6 because the icon is now different. Okay, I think we are good to go in terms of the Wi-Fi setup. So let's go ahead and connect the headset. I could use this in somewhere far inside the house so that I can expand all of this Wi-Fi 6 setup. But currently, I'm just really testing out the workflow with the Wi-Fi 6 Air Link on the Quest 2. So I'm just gonna leave this here for the demonstration, but I'm gonna install this onto the different floor of the house as well as all the way in the corner so that I can have a maximum coverage with the device that's been provided. So you can do the same. And I've got to connect both of the headsets as well as my computer connected to that node so that they can talk to each other whenever I'm doing the VR tether experience to PC, but Wi-Fi. So I'm not driving everything off of a headset, rather everything is pushed from the computer via Wi-Fi of the node that I have set up back there and pushing into the headset. So headset is just registering in the move movement in the control rather than pushing the graphics which is becoming very streamlined process if you think of it I don't need to connect any of the wires and the headset is light enough it really becomes your mobile wireless screen for VR experience and I find that really convenient and usable in a professional use case scenario Okay, now I have connected everything. The headset and the computer is talking to each other. I'm actually going to load up a 3D model so I can actually walk through. And I'm gonna use Enscape to do that as I always have been using Enscape for the VR experience. I just find it to be the easiest way to get my 3D model, especially the one that's worked in Revit into my headset and basically show it to the client. And I do wanna mention a little bit about the headband that I'm wearing. I, I couldn't remember the name of this. It is T2 Fit VR and this is what I have purchased. It wasn't expensive at all, but it really is doing the job. And in terms of the color, it is really matching the headset, but there is a bit of a cheap plastic sound here, although it is holding very well. So it is under the cup of my head here and I can easily adjust and it really is just clamping onto my head here. So it is comfortable. There's not much of a force that is applied to my face. So I don't sweat as much and it is very comfortable. And it is just like the hard head design. You'll be quite used to it. The fact that you can just move it up to just kind of see what's going on versus just lowering down into the headset environment it makes it really easy in terms of the transition and taking it off and on and putting the glasses on versus up like this is really easy so yeah i really recommend this one but without further ado let's go ahead and pop in to the virtual environment and show you what we are capable of
Oh, they had the rooftop garden. I did not realize that. Over the counter feels this way, which is good. You can greet the customers and have a good view out. Countertop feels like a good height for me to use. So we can evaluate all of that. And this is all done through wirelessly. There is no connection that is going on. This is really convenient and I can certainly use it for this purpose. So what do you guys think? If you ever struggled doing the wireless VR setup due to the Wi-Fi speed and the router that you have, then perhaps invest in something that supports Wi-Fi 6 so that you can really increase that speed that you need to support the VR headsets. Yeah, this is just testing out that workflow and kind of showcasing the product. Thank you Asus for sending me this device so that I can showcase the Wi-Fi 6 benefits and what kind of things that we can do with that speed. It makes perfect sense to use Oculus Quest 2 since it utilizes Wi-Fi 6 and we can showcase our awesome designs in 3D in a VR wirelessly and somehow it color match too. So yeah, if you have liked this content and found it useful, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.